Hi, Robert Medlin here. You know, Christianity is a growth process. It's not you just don't suddenly become a Christian and all of a sudden you're you're uh, uh, you're perfect and 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 uh, perfectly obedient, perfectly righteous in in your actions. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. Just like with natural human birth, when a when a baby is born, you really don't expect much out of that baby. But that baby is is yours. It's it has your your genes. It has your your nature. It it came out of you. Uh, it's part of you. Uh, but the baby really uh, is is pretty is, is pretty uh, independent. It just uh, it doesn't it doesn't do anything to deserve your love. It just lays there and and uh, cries and makes a mess. And as they grow a little older, then you start to see this this other nature in them that starts to come out. But it's the same way with Christianity. When the minute that you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the minute you believed that He was the Son of God, you were born again. What that means is that Jesus, who is the Word of God, who created the universe with His Word, when He spoke His Word, when you received His Word in your heart, He came to dwell in your heart. You were born again. He came to to live in you. He's inextricably uh, connected with you in your spirit. Uh, you've been born again. You're his child. And so that's the most wonderful time in your life is, the, is when you accepted Jesus because you just feel so clean. You just feel so happy. You, you know you're going to heaven. It's the most wonderful time. But, but pretty soon after, after a while, uh, you start to see that, that uh, you really don't measure up. You know, you've made all these promises about you're going to stop this and you're not going to do that. And, and, and you start to see yourself and you start to see what a mess you are. And a lot of times that tends to make us discouraged. But, but the really, really the purpose of, of the law that God gave uh, to Moses and the Israelites was to show us what is really right, but to also show us that we can't do it. And that, that, uh, that we're righteous just by our relationship with Jesus. We're righteous and holy just by faith in him, not by, not by our obedience or works of the law. And so what happens is, is just like with a normal child, you give that child rules to go by, and so that those rules don't don't uh, don't violate your relationship. You know, if the child, if you come home and the child uh, uh, did something, made a big mess, th that child is still your child. It it, it just uh, maybe disobeyed you, maybe just uh, got a little uh, got a little wild there, but it doesn't it doesn't change the relationship. You're, that that child is still your child as they grow. Uh, you still have rules, but you start giving them a little more freedom. Uh, and, and at some point they realize who they really are, that you're totally accepting of them. Sometimes that occurs when a child is younger. Sometimes it, it doesn't occur uh, till, till they're older. But at some point the child will be on his own and will be able to make his own decisions. He doesn't need the rules. Uh, so to, and he knows that you love him no matter what. And so that's what happens in Christianity is when we're babes in Christ, then, then uh, we, we are given the rules and and, uh, and, and to restrain us and to protect us. If we violate the rules, the devil's right there to beat you up if you don't. Uh, anything that's not of faith is sin. So anytime you're not walking in faith, the devil is going to beat you up. And so the kids are protected uh, when, they're, when they're young. You protect them with your prayers. But once they get out on their own, uh, then, then they have to stand in faith themselves. But their relationship doesn't change. So the instant that you, that you accepted Jesus, Jesus came to dwell in your heart. Uh, and he's there, and and he's going to be there forever, and so you're you're changed. You've been born again. You have a new nature. God is dwelling in you, and so that's a wonderful thing. So so what happens is is that as we as we learn about what Jesus has done for us on the cross and what he did for us through his substitutionary life and death, and we become more focused on him and more uh, more our our focus goes from ourself to him, that causes us to grow up in Christ. That when we start realizing what he did, that he made us righteous through, through his own sacrifice on the cross, uh, when we when we start understanding that that, uh, that that though we're we're ugly and we we uh, we're wicked at times, we do things that are totally stupid. That he still loves us. That we're still righteous and holy in his sight. When you realize that, that makes you powerful in prayer. That makes you powerful uh, in your relationship with Jesus. That you have total confidence in him. There was a, a great man of God that, that had a vision. The Lord uh, took him up to heaven and, 
And so Jesus was just glorious. As he looked at Jesus, it, Jesus was glorious. His tremendous glory was emanating from him. And then this man started looking at himself and started questioning things that he had done. And Jesus' glory just diminished. You know, the, when we look at ourselves, that diminishes Jesus' glory. Uh, in Galatians 2, Paul, who is, who is people a lot of times say, well, he's the example of what a Christian ought to be. You know, and he is. You know, he, he, uh, he suffered... Uh, to preach the gospel, uh, he he uh, he gave his life for the gospel for Jesus. But you know, he Paul Paul's appraisal of himself was, he said, you know what, I'm the worst of sinners. He says, I don't put any confidence in my own righteousness. And so in Galatians, Paul writes, he says, we who are Jews by birth, and not Gentile sinners, know that a man is not justified or made righteous by observing the law but rather through faith in Jesus Christ. So Paul, Paul is saying, look, we're Jews. We understand all about the law of Moses. We understand the requirements of the law of Moses. We understand the, the requirements of the Ten Commandments. And we understand that, that uh, uh, all those things, and we do the best we can to, to fulfill all those things. But let me tell you something. Uh, we're not justified or made righteous through that. We who are Jews by birth and not Gentile sinners know that a man is not justified by observing the law by being a good person, by obeying the Ten Commandments, but rather through faith in Jesus Christ. And then he goes on to say, so we too have put our faith in Jesus Christ, so that we, in Christ Jesus, so that we may be justified by faith and not by observing the law, because by observing the law, no one is going to be justified. Just let that sink in. By observing the law, nobody is going to be justified. We're justified by faith in Jesus, not by observing the law. And Paul, as wonderful as he was, uh, was, uh, was infinitely less righteous and holy than Jesus. Even as, even as wonderful as he was, even as wonderful as some of the apostles were, they were minuscule, uh, infinitely less righteous and holy than Jesus. And so Jesus is God's standard. Jesus fulfilled all obedience for us. Jesus was righteous for us. Jesus lived his life for us. Uh, Jesus ministered for us. He loved his neighbor as himself for us. Jesus fulfilled all the requirements of the law. Jesus defeated the devil's temptation for us in our place. Then Jesus died on the cross for us in our place. And he was descended down into hell for us as a substitute for us. He defeated death, hell, and the grave, rose from the dead, and uh, is ascended into heaven. He did that for you. He was already the Lord. He was already the creator before he, before he, he cre came in the human form. He created the universe, but he clothed himself with the humanity and came in human form for us, for our sake, to fulfill all righteousness for us. And so Jesus has done it all for us. We're righteous and holy by faith in him. So as we grow in Christ, we understand this. We begin to understand how pitiful we are, you know, and and we are pitiful, you know, and, and people that get religious and, and uh, uh, get real zealous for the law, they're just really immature in Christ. And uh, they really just sunk back into the law. They made Jesus smaller. They made themselves bigger. And uh, it's, it's just uh, um, it's a terrible thing to, to, to be a Christian for a long time and still not understand that you're righteous by faith in Jesus. It's okay to be a baby for a while and to just, you know, try to clean yourself up and do the best you can, you know. And, and, but, but really, that'll bring you a lot of people that do that, you know, you'll you'll eventually just feel terrible because you you'll see the the wicked things you do it brings you back to your knees and say lord forgive me you know give me a fresh start and even though people like that aren't really confident in their salvation uh at least they're turning to jesus remembering the cross but eventually through good teaching through through their own personal relationship with the lord they should grow to the point where they understand just like paul said uh, we who are jews by birth and not and not gentile sinners know that a man is not justified by observing the law and by being a good person, but through faith in Jesus. And it's really through faith in Jesus that we become more like him. It's really through keeping our eyes on him that he becomes glorious. And, and, and as we look at him, like looking in a mirror, it, it transforms us because we're constantly looking at him and his nature and his love. You know, when, when somebody offends us, we can just say, you know what, Jesus was on the cross and he said, Father, forgive them. They know what, not what they're doing. Lord, I forgive that person just because you're keeping your eyes on Jesus. Uh, as you grow in the, in the knowledge of the Lord, you become more Jesus conscious and less self-conscious, and then you become, become conscious of your righteousness by faith. 
and, and of course I do a lot of teaching in this area and, and it's a it's a needed area and, and and I meditate on these things day and night because they're so life giving, so so strengthening to me, so helpful to me that that I understand that I fall short of the glory of Jesus. I'm not like Jesus. Uh, I in some ways I let him flow through me and do things through me. That's what he wants to do. Because he's in me, he wants to do some stuff through me. And when he does, it just gives me great joy. But it's not about me. It's all about Jesus. And so I, I hope that you can uh, just let this sink into your heart. Uh, that, uh, that growing up in Christ means, means to, to not bec- you become more obedient. Not because you become more, more righteous through works. Uh, but as you grow up in Christ, you become more reliant on Jesus, less reliant on yourself. Until he can just flow through you unimpeded. He can just let his love flow through you because you've got your eyes on him and you don't have your eyes on yourself. So let this message do you good. I just pray that the Lord will give you revelation and understanding about it, that that, uh, you will uh, place high value on Jesus and what he's done for us, that you'll see yourself righteous and holy, not by observing the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. It'll give you great joy. It'll help you in your life. Uh, When you do fail, you can pick yourself up, shake yourself off and say, Lord, I made a mess back there. But I'm thankful. I'm so thankful that that I'm, that you're dwelling in me. That I'm righteous by faith in you. I'm so thankful. I'm going to heaven. You justify me. You say I'm innocent. Let's just uh, uh, use me some more, Lord. Just flow through me some more. Let's do some things uh, to just beat the uh, just beat the devil up a little bit. And so that's what the Lord wants to do. He wants to use you to help uh, deliver people from the oppression of the devil. So uh, I just want you to uh, to be blessed. To just Uh, let your righteousness in Christ sink into your heart that you know that you're righteous and holy in Jesus that Jesus becomes bigger and brighter and more glorious in your eyes uh, beginning today and uh, and just have a wonderful day Jesus loves you bless you